Let's wind down our study and turn real quick to our liturgy. I think I'll only read English tonight. We'll save the Hebrew and the Greek for next week. The liturgy is from Genesis chapter 12, and I'll simply read verses 1 through 3. This is the story of Abraham being called by God to leave his home, um, his, his, his family, his homeland of Ur of the Chaldees, and to go to a place that God's going to show him, and to become this covenant partner with God in bringing about the family of God into the world and bringing Israel into the world so that the Messiah himself could be born and then bless all the peoples of the world. Here's the way that Moses uh, penned it. Starting in verse 1, Genesis chapter 12. Now the Lord said to Abram, he hasn't even had his name changed yet to Abraham. The Lord said to Abram, go from your country and to your kindred and to your father's house to the land that I will show you. Verse 2, and I'll make of you a great nation and I'll bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. Verse 3, this is ESV, by the way. I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And that's the English rendering from the Tanakh. Let's turn to Galatians chapter 3. We'll read slightly more passages here. Um, I'm going to read verses 1 through uh, 8. Uh, for our uh, English rendering of the Apostolic Scriptures. All right, so starting in Galatians chapter 3, starting in verse 1, Paul says, O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? It was before your eyes that Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. Verse 2, let me ask you only this. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Verse 3, are you so foolish having begun by the Spirit? Are you now being perfected by the flesh? Verse 4, did you suffer so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Verse 5. Does he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you do so by works of the law, or by hearing with faith? Verse 6. Just as Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. Verse 7. Know then that it is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham. Know then that it is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham. And then the final Pasuk, verse 8, And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, and now here's our quote from uh, Genesis chapter 12, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, quote, In you shall all the nations be blessed. Of course, that phrase is used elsewhere in the Torah, so I can't be dogmatic that Paul's quoting it from Genesis 12, uh, verse 3. He could be quoting it from any of the other passages that uh, talk about uh, Abraham being a blessing to the nations. But that'll do it for our liturgy for tonight. 